Morning, Your Honor. Mr. Scott Ferguson, how are you doing, sir? I'm upright and taking nourishment, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we miss that, Rick? Oh, yeah. It's been a long time. <laughs> I'm just I'm just waiting for him to throw out the loco Federico. I'm waiting for Derek to show up first. <laughs> I'm, I'm right here, Scott. Ah, how are you doing, El Loco Federico? I'm uh, pretty good. Glad uh, I'm glad you're still upright, my friend. Indeed. Isn't it? Absolutely. It 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 warms my heart to hear that. He's like a, he's like an old testament miracle. <laughs> <laughs> He's one of God. That's a, absolutely right. He's one I won't, of I won't disagree with that. <laughs> you are one of God's miracles, Mr. Ferguson, that we are truly grateful and happy to witness. Well, that is very kind of you, Your Honor. And it is. Yes, I feel absolutely. very blessed because I, I absolutely know it was truly a miracle or I definitely wouldn't be here. We know that. I, we all know that, sir. We all know that. Who is EF, Rick? Can you follow EF? God knows who he is. Yes. Like, remember EF Hutton? <laughs> when EF when people, Hutton. When people listen, or when, people, when he speaks, people listen, right? Yeah. My God, are we aging ourselves or what? <laughs> I'm sure these people have no clue who EF Hutton was. Nope, absolutely not. No, nope. Mr. Mr. Stockbroker Derek, did EF Hutton go to business? Oh gosh, I don't know. I, what happened I, to him? I, I left that kind of life in Chicago in the <laughs> never looked back. Very good. I don't know if you were smart. You went from the stock exchange to the legal field. Okay. Yeah, not very. <laughs> well, at least you didn't get defenestrated out of a, a high rise building. <laughs> At least I didn't what? Get defenestrated, thrown out of a window. <laughs> oh, I, I've never heard such a term. <laughs> what, how, how do you say it? Defenestrated. Well, defenestrated is when you throw some out of a window. You, you remember that scene, that famous scene in Beverly Hills Cop? Where all the, all the bad guys take Axel Foley and they throw him out the window? Yeah, yeah. Then claimed he... he, he uh, Axel arrived there, started trouble, then jumped out a window. Yeah, there you go. There you go. He defecated out of a window. Say that again, Mr. Mr. Defenestrated. Defenestrated <laughs> out of a window, Mr. Wyatt. <laughs> Wyatt. At this time, court calls calls one number 2021-2133 and 2008-5618. Announcement to counsel, please. Scott Ferguson, state, your honor, state is ready. Uh, Derek White, on behalf of Mr. Gallegos, we're respectfully ready to proceed, Judge. That is great. Thank you, Ms. Alayandia. That's a great background. I just noticed you in the background, Ms. Grassheim, and then... Oh. Oh, my God, that's hilarious. <laughs> I, keep, I keep telling everybody in the firm that we need to put that up as a, as a new billboard. You but know... Because every everybody who sees it loves it, but Justin Elaine is saying, you know, that might not be able to that 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 might not agree with the uh, personal injury market that we're trying to court. <laughs> I disagree, but I'm voted down. So what can you do? <laughs> I, I, I can't believe you I can't it. believe you let Hustino be the main the, the main focus of that picture, Derek. Hey, uh, better better than me. <laughs> <laughs> okay let me tell you the one that looks stunning in the background is miss elena everybody says that she does she, she looks, looks great stunning. she looks stunning in that you of course you always do and mr mr <laughs> mr um, underwood is a bit hilarious but miss elena alone would be a good is a good pi kind of face Yes, yeah, that, that ought to be the face of your firm. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, she's uh, she's the managing partner now. Oh, Good really? <laughs> Good for her. Good for her. Okay, you guys, this case, I, uh, what did we offer the last time? Mr. Wyatt, this is a case that he was given like 10,000 chances. 
20,000. So this um, is a revocation case. And what did was, we offer uh, last? We have, I mean, I, I've gone over this case so many times and I've sent emails and, and you're pretty set in your ways. The, uh, the last hearing, from what I understand, is that uh, it's three on the Revo and dismiss the new ag assault. Okay, that sounds that, fair. That was our bottom line. And dismiss the new case, that's pretty good. Ms. Zalayandia, you agreed to that last time, right? I think we all said, okay, we can do three, right? Mm -hmm. That is correct. And that's because he has so much time credit. He has 223 days or 220 some days in jail. Ms. Bustamante, how much time? I mean, God knows if they're going to give him two for one or three for one or five for one. It's, a, it's actually around 245. Okay, there it is. Yes, that'll. I think that'll work out well for all parties. Can we do the plea papers, please? That's music to my ears again. Yes, yes Your Honor. I'll get the plea papers. Amen. Okay. They're, they're just revocation papers, of course. Right. Right, right. Yeah. We're going to dismiss the pending, but just make sure you do the waiver of arraignment, please, first. Okay, great. Plea papers on this one. Plea paper list. You made my day, Mr. Wyatt. Thank you so much. Did you Thank have another you, one? Mr. Wyatt, did you have another one? Um, yes, ma'am. And your honor, I was expecting I was expecting a big presentation by Mr. Wyatt. I thought we'd be here listening to <laughs> listening to uh, 20 minutes of argument. Oh. We uh, got this done. <laughs> We've got the next one you have is Cameron Stennis, 2021 2623. Mr. Wyatt, announcement of counsel, please. And this is Mr. Duke's case. Ray Duke, Your Honor, for the state. State's ready to proceed. Um, Derek Wyatt, on behalf of Mr. Stenson, and we're respectfully ready to proceed this morning, Your Honor. You know, I don't care how many emails we send, he's still in jail. I thought we had agreed. Yeah, well, we agreed to, because uh, of the new PR bond rules, we had to give him some sort of surety. So we gave him a $2,500 surety. And my staff has been trying to contact everybody they can possibly find who will pay two fifty dollars to bond this young man out. Oh, we have okay. not been successful. Okay, but we did agree to the two. Okay, I didn't. I yeah. thought it would have been on our part. We didn't do the appropriate paperwork. It's no, I think, I think everything is done, Judge, on the bond. Good. So. Good. You did a great job, Mr. Duke, and we all did diligently trying to get him out. Okay. So you now did. I agree. 100%. Okay. okay. So let's try to settle this case then. If everybody agreed to a bond, Mr. Duke, can we settle it? I think I've given an offer to Mr. Wyatt. I don't know that he's oh, willing to take it. Well, tell Are, me the offer. Did you offer a dismissal? No, I offered 10 deferred. Yeah, but the problem is when you look at the evidence, you, you can't even begin to prove a case. I looked at it again yesterday, looked at the video, looked for statements, don't see anything. In fact, the video is contrary to the police report. You see, here's here's your show, Mr. Ferguson. <laughs> exit stage, the exit the stage there, Mr. Wyatt. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I I understand what you're saying about the video, but if you watch the video, it, and it took me a little bit too, I, I promise you, but there is a gunshot in the video as well. Um, and yes, I agree with you. The identity of the shooter is a, is an issue. I agree with you. So that's why Mr. White wants a dismissal, Mr. Duke. It doesn't it doesn't even appear from the video guy. My guy was the shooter. When you, when you put the whole thing in context, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And look at it, it doesn't even appear that he's the guy that's the shooter. And, you know, there's people accusing him, of course, but I don't even see statements for, from these people. Allegedly, there was a uh, involved party one, and then there was a witness one. I, I, I've had myself and my assistant try to look for any statements by them. So, mm -hmm. I mean, we basically have nothing. There's basically nothing even in, in Portal. I'll take care of it today. All right. Him. I'll take care of it today. Okay. Okay, so you I'm, want me to set it up again? No, Judge. It, it, set it for, if the court would would uh, set it for two weeks down the road, but I should have a dismissal to the court Good. today. Good. Um, and I'll get it taken care of. 
Very good. We're going to reset this for a settlement conference in two weeks. Amen. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate that. Thank you, Mr. Wyatt. I think you're done, Mr. Wyatt, right? Uh, no, I, I, no. I, I, he I, still has some on, on page no, three, more, Judge. Yeah. He has done two more. On page, page three. three. Okay. The next one is Mr. Manuel Rivera, 2018-3951. Announcement of counsel, please. Scott Ferguson, State John or State is ready. Um, I'm I'm sorry, Your Honor. The uh, who did you call? Manuel Rivera. Manuel Rivera. Derek White, on behalf of Mr. Manuel Rivera, and we're respectfully ready to proceed, Judge. Manuel Rivera is here. Mr. Rivera, do you recognize Mr. Wyatt as your attorney? Yes. Yes? Where are you? I'm right here. There you Thank you, sir. Good morning, Mr. De Mr. Wyatt. Do you recognize your client as a defendant in this case? Yes, ma'am. Let the record reflect that both have identified each other. What's the offer, Mr. Ferguson? Your Honor, the offer on this is a reduction to criminal trespass of a habitation, uh, which is a misdemeanor. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's it. You know, this, uh, Judge, I know you remember this. This this case right here was on the video that received international attention and viewed around the world. I don't know if you remember at the very end, I said, and Chaz, how about one for the people? <laughs> was that yeah. this one? Here, that here's, was here's, this one? Yes, here's this one. It's uh, the complaining witness is deceased. The defendant has no priors. Baby mama was screwing around visitation. So my client went to go get his kid. My guy is a truck driver, was arrested in Chicago. The the, he, uh, he got locked up. The company had to go tow the truck and trailer from Chicago back down here. The defendant lost his job. He was in jail for 28 days waiting to be extradited. And if you look at the evidence, baby mama and defendant's story don't really match. There's a lots of a lots of inconsistent statements, and I'd hate to impeach a dead person. I mean, that would be really, really bad. This case is a 2018 case, and this received international attention. International for attention. Clamoring, for people are clamoring for a dismissal in it terms did. of justice on this. It did. How about time served, Derek? How about time served? The Scott, that's very, very generous, but this one deserves a, di a dismissal. Time served, Derek. Scott, that's fair, but honestly, it, des it deserves a dismissal. My guy has been through enough, and I'm even doubting the authenticity of the story. If you look at both parties who were a witness, they have mm. completely different stories. They're not even a bit consistent. I have a great idea. What about a bench trial? <laughs> no, I thought it was a serious resolution. I didn't think it was funny, Mr. <laughs> what about a bench? I don't know if you guys would be willing for a bench, but this may be a bench. Normally, I would say this is a great case for a bench trial. I don't even really want to waste the court's time with it. I'll give you a damn dismissal, Derek. You Thanks. will. I, that was just <laughs> Thank you. There you go, Mr. Wyatt, Mr. Ferguson. Thank you very much. You may be excused on that one. <laughs> okay. The next one, Jason Rodriguez. Court calls cause number 2021-1445. Jason Rodriguez, announce on the council, please. Scott Ferguson, state your honor. State is ready. And I'm Derek White on behalf of Mr. Rodriguez. Respectfully, right proceed, Judge. Now, just verify the agreement so that everybody's on the same page on this. Mr. Wyatt, you want to tell Mr. Ferguson? me you know we got a uh mr. the only thing i got down is a is a five deferred is that right mr ferguson you're okay um i thought it was three deferred but i'll take five i, I will take the three deferred <laughs> i will take that three deferred three deferred it is there you three go deferred it is i, I didn't want to have to argue about the uh you know photographs taken with yeah, this this With, is a case. Uh, yeah. Garden it's, implements or whatever, Derek. Yeah. <laughs> we won't oh, that, go that, there. We won't gosh, go there. We'll do the plea. Let's just get that the plea. That reminds me of an incident a long, long time ago. <laughs> Mister, I don't think it's appropriate to discuss on YouTube live. Mr. <laughs> You can discuss it privately with Mr. Ferguson. Thank you all. Mr. Mr. Honor, Mr. Thank you. you may be excused.
<laughs> well, we come back to it. The next one is Eric Vargas. That is Mr. Wyatt, right? Yes, ma'am. At this time, court calls cause number 2021-2959. Announcement of council, please. Scott Burgess is a state, your honor. State is ready. Uh, Derek White, on behalf of Mr. Vargas, respectfully ready to proceed, Judge. This is a settlement conference. What's happening? Presence. You want to waive the presence, Mr. Wyatt? Yes, ma'am, if the court will allow. So waived. What's the offer, Mr. The Wyatt? Offer is, the offer is, let's see. And Judge, three he's in years. custody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. How long has he been in custody? 120, maybe 133, 34 days. I'm thinking that's a 1244B time served. I'm thinking, I'm thinking three years, five months deferred adjudication, one month for every hit of acid that he possessed. During a pandemic, that's barely a crime, Scott. <laughs> well, he is old school. I'll give him that. Yeah, exactly. How many people do you have? Plus, you know, it's not like fentanyl where you want to keep taking it. Take some acid, man. You, uh, you're going to have to rest for a few days before you can take it again. Holy moly. So it's not like meth or anything like that. I, I think, seriously, a few months in jail during the pandemic for having some acid, that, that's pretty fair. I don't see him with the, any other history. This, this is actually a second degree, Derek. That's a, it's I know. A lot, a lot of acid. I mean, it's certainly not personal use unless he's like truly a psychedelic commando or something. I mean, 20 oh. hits. Hey, it, it, so you're offering three, hits. your offers three and a half years to do? No, no, no. Deferred. Deferred. Three and a half deferred. Three years, five months deferred? You yes. Said? Okay. Three years, five months deferred. Acid's pretty serious stuff, Mr. Mr. Wyatt. Yeah, but you know what? When I think of the 171st, I think of important cases that need to be tried. And this is just really not an important case to have somebody sitting in jail over. Can we give him a PR bond? Your Honor, I, I will agree to a PR bond. You know, I think I would agree to a PR bond, too. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Scott. Yeah, I think I'll agree to a PR bond. Well, he's, well, yeah. Yeah, I'll agree to a PR bond. I think three years deferred is generous, though, Mr. Wyatt, speak to your client. Yes, ma'am. 20,000 PR bond, no bars, no drugs, no alcohol, no arrest, no offenses against the state of Texas. He cannot leave El, Cap El Paso County unless and until he has my permission. He's going to report one time, 24 hours notice to his, P no, one time to his PR bond officer, three times a month. This is acid. Three times a month, 24 hours notice for a UA. I, yes, I don't know. Do, do we even have a UA that can pick up acid? It may need. It may require a special UA. I don't know. Yeah, they, even the presumptive test picks up LSD. Does it? I. Okay, I thought there was well, a least, special test for. Well, well, at least there's a picture. There's a picture in evidence of the uh, you know the field test kit, like a Ferguson field test kit. <laughs> 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 we're, a, we're not going to go there, Derek. <laughs> I can contact RMS judge and find out. <laughs> just like they didn't, just like the term scot free, it doesn't refer to me, neither does the Ferguson field test. <laughs> Very good. Okay, we're going to find that out, Mr. Wyatt, but I think we're done with the PR bond. We'll let him out. We'll set it up for another settlement conference in about another month. You work on Mr. Scott Ferguson, see what you can do. Now, Scott, did you did you look at the did you look at the acid? Yes, but I mean, you you know as well as I do, it's homemade. Yeah, yeah, but here's the thing: it like it was a picture. It's Donald Trump acid, and he's like, I don't know, is he throwing up into a garbage can? He's got like white hair, but it's obviously Donald. It's like Donald Trump throwing up into a garbage can. That's that's what's on the acid. It's probably what he saw the last time he dropped a hit. <laughs> I mean, really? I mean, these are these are tab these are simple tabs. I know it's not <laughs> micro dots. It's not, you know. I I know. I mean, he just there are little drops on on cut up. You know. How did you find out? Okay. 
All the rest are PR bonds. He should be out. Okay, Mr. Yes. Wyatt, great. Thank yes. you. Fantastic. Thank you, guys. Three week reset on the settlement conference. Thank you. You may be excused. Have a great day, Mr. Wyatt. He's been on for four years. So he's done a perfect job for four years. It's not quite half of what he pled to, but I would be okay with it, Your Honor. I won't. Okay. I won't object. I'll leave it in the court's wise discretion. Right, I think so. He's been a model. He's been model. I already told him I would do that because he had paid so much money. He always is very compliant, Mr. Miss Alayandi. Every time you've asked him to do something, he jumps and he does it. Yes, and sir. all of that struck me the last time. Yeah. Motion for early discharge is granted, Mr. Rodriguez. Congratulations. What do you have to say about it? I am very thankful for you guys, for the court, for Ms. Sally and Deal. Overall, she's been um, an exceptional person for me throughout the whole time that I was reporting her since 2019, since before the pandemic. Um, she did help me out a lot uh, with a lot of the, a lot of my issues. I did have a few mental breakdowns. She guided me through them. Um, she was really helpful, too, when I went through my situation in New Mexico. Um, and as far as you as well, ma'am, you were really helpful with me. If I was on the wrong path back in 2017, I was really heavy on the drugs. I was, you know, I was a dropout. I was doing all these crazy things. And I'm really thankful for probation for helping me get my life back together. Now I am a hardworking person, working two jobs, about to become a supervisor in one job. So I am really thankful for probation for keeping me on the straight path. Amen. It is pretty amazing, Your Honor, to see someone go from this to that. To Look at that. Doing Look perfect that. on probation and, and getting a job and holding it down and becoming a productive member of society. And being grateful and kind and respectful and compliant and productive. Mr. Rodriguez, all that you did. I'm sure Ms. Alayandia had a lot to do with it, with the motivation. Ms. Alayandia is another awesome probation officer. Awesome. And she did, actually. And I, and I commend her for that because I was really spiraling down. My life was really spiraling. And Good. Good. Great. Go do great things and show us. Continue to show us what you can do. And come and back I and forget about us so we can say, oh, my God. We as a we are a part of this greatness you're going to create, Mr. Rodriguez. Okay. Thank come you, back, Your Honor. Come back and show us. Good luck and God bless you. Thank you, Your Honor. Bye. Bye. -bye. Okay, Mr. Rodriguez, submit it, please. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Rodriguez. Thank you. Is Pedro Rodriguez?